Richard, what was your, your, your take on that game this afternoon? Um, well, I think probably a fair result. You know, I thought we kind of more than deserved the lead. Um, you know, they've got a lot, they have a lot of possession. Their movements uh, is great, but I thought we coped with it uh, very well, especially first half. Never really broke us down. Um, then the second half, they certainly had a, you know enough chances to warrant getting a point, and they could probably argue that they maybe, you know, they could have won the game. Um, but overall, we are we are happy with the point. When Stephen McLean scored that goal in the first half, did you feel it was it was deserved? Yeah, I think so. Like I say, we, we, we you know we were ne we knew we were never going to dominate possession here, but they never really caused us many problems. You know, they, they kind of played the game in front of us. Um, you know, it was probably down to our, our shape as well. And like I say, we kind of we looked dangerous in the attack. We we knew they kind of take chances at the back. And obviously, then a kind of poor clearance and. You know, Mac, I think, I think he thinks he's offside and he just puts it in and um, I think the first look for everyone was that linesman and when the flag doesn't go up you're absolutely buzzing um, and to hold on to that lead for as long as we did you can, you know, you start to go right come on let's get to the end of the game but I mean they threw everything at us I think they went three at the back but at times it was two at the back and it was just, you know, it was like the Alamo um, but you know, I thought we defended we defended well um, other than the goal and was a bit unlucky actually tackles tackles one of the players and it falls to McGregor that's a great finish um, but you know we kind of we held out for the point, and it's a great result for us. Just as as a spectacle, just a, a great a great game. Both teams really went for it. Yeah, I mean, like I say, they, in the second half they were like the red arrows. They were just all over the place, and it's they're so difficult to play against. You know, they're good players. Um, they move the ball very well. They're so comfortable on the ball, um, and they made it very difficult for us. But I think you know we, we kind of we hung in there at times. We kind of uh, rode a luck. Alan made a couple of great saves. With a good couple of good clearances. I thought Joe and Ando were great again. Centre of defence, and you know. We, Coming to Parkhead, you know you're, you're, everyone's going to have to play well. And I thought we'd done that today and, and we got a point. Uh, did you enjoy playing a bit further forward and how, how do you feel Aaron Comrie played? I thought Aaron was great. I thought, you know, especially second half, he's, he was dealing with you know, a £4 million player 1v1 for a good 20 minutes in the second half and um, and he'd done re very well against him. You know, as a fullback, the guy's going to get past you at times, you're going to tackle him at times, but I thought he stuck to his task great. Um, you know, and it's it's good for the manager that he can come in and, and play right back, and it, you know, it kind of um, it kind of challenges me for that for that place as well. Playing further forward was was great at times, but then I felt like I was in my own six yard box more than I would have been if I was at fullback. It was just in insane. Like I say, their movement in midfield was was incredible. So it was like I say, it was good. Done a shift for the team, and we all did, and it was great to come away with a point. And a, a great point, and that means ten points in the first four matches this season. Yeah, yeah, like we would have bitten your arm off for that before the season started. Um, to be to come have, play a game at Parkhead and still be unbeaten in the season is is a massive a massive uh, thing for us. It shows that we can go anywhere in Scotland and, and, and get points. So we'll take the confidence from that.